Welcome back. You're still watching World Inside with me, Tian Wei. The program is coming to you Monday to Friday, live on CGTN. On tonight's episode of Game Changers, let's meet Xu Bing, one of the world's most influential Chinese contemporary artists. He's both playful and insightful in his unique way of interacting with language, provoking experiment and eventually finding an unchartered path to expression. Unlike many of his contemporaries, his work appeals to both the highbrow art circle and the public alike. That is reflected by the crowd that attended his Beijing exhibition, Xu Bing, Thought and Method, his most comprehensive retrospective exhibition to date. I visited him recently in his Beijing studio. One could tell he is really enjoying wrestling with ideas and methods. Actually, I don't know what is uh, contemporary art. Even I'm doing the art. Uh, some people call me the, the, the conceptual art, contemporary artist. Actually, I don't think yes, uh, art is uh, that important. Why not? Mm -hmm. Creativity from the society, yes. right? This is so strong, really powerful, really big, you know. So the, even artists, uh, even the thinker, very passive. Have to catch up all the time. I try to catch up. Art creativity is uh, really, really low. Mm. Why is that? The artist, we always uh, stuck in, inside of the circle, the all art language created by the master in that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good for them talking that time what they want to say. I only say something no one has been said. Otherwise, you don't need to say anything. But if you want to say something really delicate, mm. yeah, so you must be find a new way. The new language yeah. that you are looking for yeah. have been quite impressive. The book from the sky, that is really a new way of speaking your mind. How did you find that language? Uh, actually, in that time, I really want making the, my art be a look like the standard international contemporary art. <laughs> 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 yeah, because I really want to get out, <laughs> jump out from the old art system. I want to make a new art, but actually I don't know what is new art. Finally, so I'm making a big installation of a book from sky. Mm. But uh, i really surprised. Actually, this piece from inside of outside, even the complicated way, to the audience, they all is really Chinese and uh, tradition, Chinese uh, philosophy. So you wanted to jump out of the Chinese way, but exactly yeah. you ended up exactly the Chinese way. Yeah, actually you cannot escape of who you are. Who you are, yeah. That time is just after the Cultural Revolutions, the you know the cultural fever, you know, about the 80s. Yes. Yeah. I'm as a young teacher in, in Kafa. I really involved with the discussion about the cultural and the reading lots of about the books. Yeah, any book, even I can get it, I, I read it. But uh, why I involved too much, I feel that I lost something. Why? I think I'm really clean. I know about it. But uh, when I'm reading too much, I discussion about the I confused. So I really want to uh, do something, explain about um, me, my, myself. I really want to making a book, um, talking about uh, how the cultural, how related with the human. A lot of people in contemporary art these days in China say your piece, mm -hmm. a book from the sky, woke them up. Because in that time, right, in that period, uh, the whole China cultural world, we really learn Western cultural. Yes. The people think, ah, oh, from now we had uh, Chinese contemporary art, 
can can dialogue equally <laughs> yeah can dialogue with whoever equally else with in the world <laughs> <laughs> that piece I did really seriously because I had the idea when I get idea so mm -hmm. I I know I must be really serious making the book present them as it looks really like important the book right. So each character, is, uh, I need to design by myself and carving them and hand print out. And the book is a classical thread bonding. It's a big uh, uh, size. Making people think, oh, that beautiful book must be tell us this, uh, some important information, some important thing. That's right. Yeah, but uh, they don't tell you anything. After the piece, I moved to America. Yeah, because I still want to know what is contemporary art. That's not an easy task for someone, you know, who has never been out of China, all of a sudden parachuted into America, has to be an artist, struggle and mm. survive and even eventually got known. I don't have a really difficulty have a really get big gap mm -hmm. to living there and uh, working there. Interesting. A lot of people have uh, big problems, mm. you know, challenge. You don't. We have been past the different kinds of social period, you know, the earlier socialism period, and we went to cultural the countryside. Yeah. Eventually, after the Cultural Revolution, reform and opening up, so you went through a lot. I can join any kind of life. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs>
Yeah, American culture actually like that. For example, when I graduated from Central Academy, we, we want to be a, the great artist. There's a street art and the pop art, mm. uh, that kind of thing. We think, oh, that's a low art. So the great art actually is covered by something you uh, doesn't like it. When I back to China, Chinese characters is a really special influence to where cultural identity, where cultural personality, and the way we think. People starting of the educated, we are always the copy of the the characters. Yes. You know, we want to go with the flow. Mm. You know. Because uh, we writing is uh, by the second stroke, yeah. always follow the first stroke. You know, second, a third stroke always follow the first and the second stroke. You moved on from the book from the sky mm -hmm. to the book from the ground. Yeah. One of those words use a lot of emoji. Yeah. So you are trying to dialogue and make use of the tools. Yeah. You also created a video called Dragonfly. Mm. It is a discussion about technology, privacy. Professor, you tell me about this graduation that you had over the time. I don't care about the art themselves. Yes. I think the art themselves, the style. The artist must be uh, a good thinker. That's really important, of course. Then you have uh, your face to the, your time. You must be have something you want to see. You need to say something really, really right way, really delicate, mm -hmm. really sensitive. You must be find the right way to speak out. This two work, book from sky with a book from the ground, really different, but in some ways uh, they are same. Why I say that? Because uh, this two book treat everybody equally. Doesn't matter you are educated, how high are you a professor, are you what? Um, I like that. Yeah. Doesn't matter you come from what, which cultural background. Doesn't matter. Book from sky, no one can read it, even myself. But the book from the ground, everybody can read it. Doesn't matter you educated the level. It doesn't matter, really. Xu Bing, an artist with a constantly curious mind, finally made his latest work, Dragonfly Eyes, after researching and experimenting for five years. At the very beginning, he saw some security camera recordings on TV, and he was immediately hooked. The end result is 10,000 hours of publicly available surveillance videos collected by the artist and his team, condensed into an 81 minute long film that follows the plot of an apparent love story. It was then that Xu Bing knew that he was right in moving back to China and also he found his latest toy. I live in New York a long time, right? Yes. Then, one beginning, I always uh, oh, go to museum, go to galleries, walk around the uh, Chelsea, uh, looking for about the contemporary art. Yeah. By long time, is, I feel the uh, oh, the museum, the art, gallery, the art, and uh, does it give me the inspiration? Inspiration, yeah. They don't give me the new thinking energy. That time, I feel that China is a new country. Mm. They have lots of energy. They have lots of uh, new layer yes. of the cultural. They are really international, you know, really international and. Uh, so many space and uh, so many questions. Experimental artists really need it. Yes. You must be living here and working there because uh, the society has uh, always gave you a new thinking energy. Absolutely exciting society. You have to always woken up in order to grasp. You're right. You're right. But that is a hard thing because once you are in the society, you go yeah. with the rhythm. Yeah. Sometimes you forget that you are here to observe. Yeah. You also went to sleep together with the others as well. Uh, yeah. Even I'm doing the contemporary art. I always uh, rethinking about uh, the, the problem of the contemporary art system. For example, some people ask me, oh, Xi Bing, you come back? 
you must be bring some new cultural and the contemporary art came to China, you know. But actually, I know in here there's much more. Much more is a really, really avant-garde, really contemporary. You know, the whole society yes. is really contemporary. I must be like why 20 years ago I went to um, a New York. Then I must be learning something here. Uh, I must be changing my uh, the whole body, you know. Then I can live in here and do something here. Mm. You like now who you are than uh, who you used to be? I like, yes, of course. And then there's also the dragonfly. CCTV, the video. Mm -hmm. yeah. But my idea look like a word. They have a meaning, but of them is a, over there, like a, inside of the dictionary. They don't have a story, they don't have meaning. Yeah. But as a, if you uh, look like you are write, writing, you know, you put in them here or here or here, finally you give a, a really elegant meaning. This idea is actually I start from the 2013. One day as a, I saw it as a, you know, the, the, from the TV, civilian camera image. Oh, I, I, really, I, I feel it really interesting. You know, I feel it's so, so touched to me. Yeah, I think because they are really real and uh, make you nervous. They don't happen anything. Yes. But uh, you're always thinking, waiting, something must be happening. Yeah. So I had ideas. Uh, I say, oh, if uh, someone only use the uh, civilian image making a movie, yeah, must be making a long fiction movie, must be really great. Before we thought of the fiction movie, oh, it's a fake. But uh, Dragonfly Eyes, you know, any moment, any minute, real happened. You know, this is so interesting. Yes. And uh, I think, oh, this way is a, I can make a movie without the cameraman, without the actors. I, I'm a contemporary artist, you know. I'm a conceptual artist. Yes. So <laughs> I always uh, want to push the conceptual idea go to, mm. go to the end. Mm. Actually, that time the, we, we couldn't get uh, enough yes. footage until uh, 2015, beginning of 2015, I found, oh, on the internet, already have a really rich, lots of a really different kinds of civilian image yes. putting online. So we buy the 20 computers and set the way I recited the way I studio. Then we download. Then How many documents have you signed as a result? Uh, we got it about as a over 90% people, we get the permission wow. from them. Through this movie, uh, some people asking, oh, the movie talking what? Talking about the love story, or talking something else? Totally not. I always uh, seriously tell something to you, but actually, actually, the uh, real thing I want to tell you, something else. <laughs>and with that, we are coming to an end our visit to Xu Bing's exhibition at UCCA and our talk with Xu Bing about thoughts and methods he provokes and creates. We see in his work an interesting world in which we are definitely 
part of it. In our series Game Changers, we will look at pioneers who epitomized the spirit of China's 40 years of reform and opening up. And this time, we featured Xu Bi.